He was a veteran. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Jeremy Hubbard. And I'm Erica Gonzalez. And for Aristea Brady, we learned today Richard Black went to the Citadel and was a highly decorated Vietnam veteran. Yeah, wounded in action. He earned the Purple Heart and Bronze Star in the Army. And he was killed yesterday after being shot by Aurora police outside his home at Montview and Iola. Fox 31's Kristen Hobrick spent today in Black's neighborhood and joins us live with more. Kristen? Jeremy, I talked to family members who said Richard, known to many as Gary, was a beloved grandfather and veteran. They said he was just trying to defend his home and protect his family when he was shot. A decorated Vietnam veteran. This is a picture of Lieutenant Richard Black at the Fort Gordon Hospital in Georgia. He's being congratulated for outstanding service with the 1st Infantry Division. Black earned a Purple Heart and Bronze Star. But early yesterday morning, this veteran was killed on home soil as a violent scene unfolded at his home on Montview. As I heard the shots, it was just that quick. Bam, 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 bam. The Blacks called police at 1 in the morning as a man broke into their home. When officers arrived, they heard gunfire, then encountered an armed man later identified as Richard Black. An officer shot and killed him. But when police went inside the home, they found the intruder dead on the bathroom floor, shot multiple times prior by Black. Those who knew Black are stunned. And it's just devastating. He's very friendly. You know, every time we've seen him, he'd wave. Officers say a child inside the home was injured by the intruder. Grandkids. Oh, they have a little zip line, and they're always playing back there. You know, it's a tragedy. It's very sad. While family mourns the loss of their loved one, Denver police and the DA's office are now investigating. And we put in a request with the Aurora Police Department for the body cam footage for the officers who were on scene here. We've also asked to sit down and talk with the chief of police, but we're told at this time the department is not talking to media. Live in Aurora, Kristen Hobrick, Fox 31.